Hey folks, John Smart here. I really thought we'd got past the point where we thought that test automation after a feature was finished was a good idea, but apparently not because I still see it coming through in, in training courses, in documentation, in, in uh, processes, in job descriptions, saying that the role of a test automation engineer is to wait for a feature to be completed and then write some automated test scripts to test that test that feature. Let me tell you, that is the worst possible approach you can do when it comes to automation. That will lead to bottlenecks in your process. That will lead to a painful automation experience because your, the application you're testing will not be ready for automation. It will be hard to automate. And that means that automating your scenarios, automating your tests will take way longer. And worse than that, what you end up automating are test scripts that test the implementation of the application. Now on the surface of it, you might say, yeah, that's what we want to do. But no, no, you do not want to test the implementation of the application. You want to test whether an application does what it's supposed to do. You want to test whether the application delivers the value that it's supposed to deliver. You want to test the requirements, not the application itself. I know that's a fairly subtle distinction, but it's really, really important in Agile in particular. And that's why we need to start thinking about automation, start factoring in testability right from the start, right from the word go, even before you start coding, even before you start writing requirements. As you start conceiving your requirements, as you start discovering them, you are already defining how they will be tested, how they will be verified. You are expressing your outcomes, your expectations in a potentially executable format. And this happens before work starts. And then you can work together to make your application testable so that automation doesn't have to be a painful process. Automation actually starts before development and then continues in parallel with development. So the definition of ready, or the definition of done rather, when the, uh, when the feature is delivered is that the automated tests all pass. I know this is a fairly big change in the way you typically work, but it is really, really powerful. It is really essential if you're going to try to do agile. Okay, that's all for today, folks. Thanks for listening.